Hi guys, welcome back to some more action with Leeds United. Apparently, as you can see there, Spurs confirm Forster talks. It's news to me. But, um, a couple of uh, comments in the last video. One, a uh, couple were saying Sel McCormack, which I do agree with. And had, um, some suggestions for some new strikers. There's uh, Babacar, who we have made an inquiry for. There's Danny Welbeck as well, although Welbeck may be uh, a bit difficult to get as um, obviously Leeds United are Manchester United's rivals, so, or one of them anyway, so they may be unwilling to, to sell to us. And there was Anthony Uja who has also been on the radar for a while. Um, also suggestion to get K try and get catering, but we do have enough left mids and left wings, I believe, so we, uh, we'll have to see what happens with that one. He may be... Uh, should we get a, a decent offer on on a player? Then we may have to look to to sell. Should we get a twenty million offer for for one player? Then it's gonna that will help us bring in two, maybe three other players. And a player who I have made um, an inquiry for is Cardiff City Stephen Coker. I'm just thinking about the defensive options, and I think Stephen Coker could help us out at the back. Cardiff were relegated last season, so hopefully there is a chance we could pick him up on the free. Or, well, not on the free room, but on a cheap. Um, so, let's uh, move forward and... Uh, right. Uh, Danny Welbeck, they've said no interest, uh, they've no intention of letting him join our team. Stephen Colker, they've said no... Uh, no real uh, chance of him joining us. But Stephen Colker is one where... In fact, you know what? I actually was just thinking about I'm going to do a cheeky swap deal and I'm gonna go when I've probably gone past him while talking or have a camera Stuart no Martin Skirtle there he is I'm gonna put a cheeky swap deal in Martin Skirtle for Stephen Corker. Um Cardiff get the experience we get a youth player they'll probably reject that but never mind. Right um Kahuma Babaka will cost nine hundred and seventy five thousand and Anthony Ujo will cost seven million. So I'm going to go with Ujo first. Um, I'm going to try a five million bid. I'm going to see what they say to that. I may try and actually look to use. I could theoretically. I mean, if that offer doesn't work, I can drop it to say four million and offer McCormack in a swap deal. Um, we are interested in the player you have offered. Casham is not big enough. 7.3 million is what Cardiff want. Okay, we'll uh, leave that for now. We have an offer for Martin Skirtle from Genoa, 1.8 million. Let's accept that because obviously it does get us uh, a hefty chunk off the uh, off the wage budget. In fact, how much was Skirtle? Let's have a a quick look. Sell players. Where are you, Skirtle? Let's sort by wage. She's going to be one of the highest earners. Um, 70,000. Yeah, so he's definitely uh, worthwhile getting him off the books. Plus the bit of money we already had to one side in um, in terms of transfer budget with 35,000. So that's going to give us a little bit. Player sold. Um, 1.5 million we've got. And... So 5.5 .5 million for Uja, so they did say 7, we put in a 5, and they said 5.5, .5, which I'll gladly take that. I could have maybe looked to drop it a little bit, um, but we have an offer for Fraser Forster um, from Lille. We're going to straight out reject that Fraser Forster is not going to be sold. 83 rated keeper, is 27 years old, he's got at least 3-4 seasons left in him. Leeds United star, Skirtle sold, another offer, and that's for Montoya from Roma, reject that, Montoya is staying I want him to become a valuable asset to the team Tom Lee thinks he'd make a great replacement for Skirtle's uh, position, unfortunately Skirtle was going to be on the bench so if you're happy to be on the bench Tom Lee's, that's fine an offer for Zaliukas, gladly get you off the books, Fulham interesting, are Fulham still in the Premier League or have they dropped down, no Fulham, yep they're in fifth there and I could have sworn I saw Benteke had been sold. 
No, nope, don't want to do that. Let's have a look. How much has been taken? 27 million. I thought that said 2.7 million. I was going to say if that said 2.7, I'd be uh, I'd be annoyed that I didn't uh, know about that sooner and try and sign him myself. Player sold. Zaliukas has gone. Transfer offer accepted for Anthony Uja. We're going to offer him 40 grand a week. We're going to offer him a decent goal bonus, a four-year deal, and he's going to be a crucial first-team player. There are a good chance he will start a lot more games than McCormack will. McCormack will hopefully even be sold. So, with that offer looking to go in, I will... Um, I'm thinking, actually. I am going to go after Babacar as well. Just to get him in, get him in the squad rotation. If... If you guys are recommending him, then um, you're not going to recommend, recommend me dud players. So, ah, Gilles Bisset, my keeper, Brentford, season-long loan. Thank you. You go out and get some experience. But yeah, you guys aren't going to um, give me any dud players. So, we'll see who we can sign. Get some get some players on the books. Transfer off for Nicholas Bentner. Um, Everton reject and disallow I'm not letting him go and if I was going to let him go it'd have to be for say 20 million and to a non-premier league team there's buy and seal 38.5 million deal for Aguero I'll have a look at these scouting uh, updates 20 days left um well back I'm going to remove you Babacar what's it saying about you decent acceleration and strength sprint speed is okay finishing is uh I've got the potential to be okay, but I think you have got the potential to be a good player. Uja, between 74 and 84 for finishing. Shot power is really good. Ball control, dribbling are good. Good physical stats. Aggression, yeah, that can hopefully be worked on. Attacking position, okay. Actually, the other one I wanted to have a look at was Stephen Cook and see what they said about him. Strength, really good. Stamina is good. Interceptions is good. Standing tackle, slide tackle. So, um, what I'm thinking is if we get 40,000 for Uja and say we can sign uh, Coker up for 40. Which means we're going to need, say, 100,000, new budget. If we can have that around 100,000, it leaves me 9.3 million. If I'm spending 5.5 on Uja and, say, 1 on Babacar, that's 6.5, which leaves me with 2.8 million. So, what I am going to do, I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to go in and I'm going to go and I'm going to approach him. I'm going to offer 2.75. And I'm going to offer McCormack. I'm going to see what they say to that deal. McCormack's 3.4, so that is like a 6 million. Uh, yeah, just over a 6 million deal for them. So we'll see what they say to that. Hopefully they'll let, they'll accept that deal. And we've got in a couple of... Fiorentina accepted the offer. Ujo's declined the offer. Top player at my current club. So basically he wants more cash. Go to 45, crucial first team player. Come on, Phil, it's a chance to play in the Premier League. Offer accepted for Babacar. Um, we'll give you 10,000 a week, goal bonus, four year deal, and you're going to be a squad rotation player. Hopefully, he accepts that, but he may want a little bit more. Cardiff City have accepted the offer. Wow. Uh, clean sheet. Length four years. I'll make you a crucial first team player. Stephen Corker. If this game sort of is good in terms of thinking how players will play, he's going to want to play in the Premier League. So therefore, he's going to want um, uh, he's going to want to move up rather than being in the Championship. And an offer for Pierce, which we're going to accept. Because hopefully we're getting Corker in. And Zalukas has gone, I know that, but we do, in fact, before I do anything else, let's go and have a look and just see, we're not going to limit ourselves. In fact, actually, I'm thinking, the more I'm thinking about this, we're not, because we have got that um, 
Chaminaris, who's 71 rated, we've got Kabul. Chaminaris, Lees and Unkulu. If Pierce goes, that still leaves us with Wotton. We can potentially then look to sell Wotton. And we've got Colker in. That will give us one, two, three, four, five centre backs. Left back is an area we do need to. I think the left back is an area we we do need to uh, to look to improve on. And any of these guys can play left back. No, they can't play left back. Either left back or right back because obviously. Um, not you, Wotton. Because obviously Montoya can play um, left back. So if we had a decent right back, Stephen Colker, can you play right back? No, just centre back. Okay, so we'll see what happens with these um, offers. Pierce has been sold. Babacar wants a bit more cash, which, okay, I'll go to 15 grand a week. Um, gold bonus. Um, yeah, yeah, let's offer him a bit more. Offer him a four-year deal as well. I'm not really too worried. Gold bonus and clean sheet bon bonus. It's a bit of a. I don't know why they've got it in there. Um, the the money. It doesn't have anything to do with. Ha it doesn't take anything out of your transfer budget. So right. So Uja who's going to offer him fifty grand a week. To be honest, it's it's. I think we're okay offering him that much because we do have. Uh, some other offers as Corker has accepted. So Corker is coming in. There you go, 7.1 million left and 100,000 in terms of wages. So we have got a load of wages left. Scouting play, scouted players, a couple of scouted players have gone elsewhere and Corker is on his way. So I'm going to quickly have a look at these scouted players. And just to make sure. Um, Okay, 85, uh, 84 and 85. Keeper, keeper, centre mid. Not worried about them. Martinson, you had one. Let's have a look. Donati, keeper, another keeper. I think we're okay for goalkeepers. Well, let's see, there's that one if we want to take another goalkeeper. And there's that pesky between 71 and 87. You know what? Let's sign him up now. Right, so 7.1 million left. We've got a couple of offers on the tables that value at 6 million. Babacar has accepted that contract. Accept, get you in. 15 grand a week, 975,000. We're going to wait and move forward and just see what happens. Uja has accepted that contract. Thank you. So we've got 626,000 to spend and 35 grand in wages. So we could pick up a, a, a maybe a half decent uh, cent a left back or right back but let's have a look are we up to just a four and a half star team now absolutely fantastic so Svensson we could do with maybe letting go out on loan but I think actually he's uh, going to have to be our backup keeper yeah so let's have a look at our new signs. we've got Ujo in a 77 Babakai is a 69 um We've got Nkulu, who's an 80. Jack Robinson, obviously, we're going to have... Um, actually, we'll keep Jack Robinson in for this game. We'll go with Bentaleb, Sterling. No, not Nagel. I wanted Niang, if he's available. No, actually, we'll have Tom Ince there. Cam. Where is Corker? Corker's a 79. Holy crap, that's brilliant. Right, we're going to go with Shrevers there in the camera roll, and I'm going to go with Uja up front. So we've got Wotton, don't want you on the bench. I'm going to want Tom Lees. Gosling, I've got DeSantos, we've got Ward Prowse, McManaman, Thompson, I don't want you on the bench. I'm going to have, where are you? Babacar, there you are. I'll have you on the bench for this game. Looks to be a fairly decent team. Let's uh, have a quick look. There's one thing I do want to do. Um, right, 30 out of 42, so we could look to uh, get rid of a few players here. Due to my overall transfer list, it is Navarra, Svensson, Nagel. Gonzalez is potentially going out for loan because it did say one to watch. Norris is retiring. Christensen out for loan. Austin is up for transfer. Thompson is available for transfer. Bisset is out on loan. Mbay... 
you know what? I'm going to allow you to go out on loan for a season. Robinson is back up, but we'll have to see what happens with him. Babakar has just come in. Moa. Sorry, fella. Time to transfer list you. Shrevers, we're going to look to play you this season. Tunkara will let you go out on loan again. Wooten, I think it's time to sell you, especially with Kolka coming in. So you're not going to get that much game time. Muru, we'll have to see. Chaminaris are going to give you some game time. Yes, so game time. Lees, some game time. Byram. Um, I think we'll keep you as backup for the time being. Yeah, you know what, that'll, that's a good enough a good enough look at the squad for now. So, first pre-season game away at PSG, who have Lavezzi and Cav uh, Cavani up front. They've got uh, Ibrahimovic on the bench. And Robinson got booked after four minutes, and Kulu was booked after 29 Holding our own at half time. Dos Santos on for Shrevers. Ibrahimovic has come on for Cavani. Final 20. Troyari has been booked. Not doing too bad here, you know. Away at PSG. Bettner on for Ujan. Ince gets the winner. Absolutely fantastic. A 1 0 win away at um, PSG. Um. So, player conversation was Callum McManaman, my role at the club, not what was being offered. Mate, we, we, don't worry about it. Right, so let's move forward now and uh, see if we can hopefully we get a couple of offers. Right, squad report. Let's have a look. Uh, so there's another keeper that we can potentially look to bring in as backup should Svensson go. In fact, you know what, I will offer him a contract, sign him up now, just to get him in. Um, so then Svensson can go. Oh, have I made a mistake? 71 to, 7, 71 to 83, 79, no, and his overall is okay right now. Uh, Rask, let's get you in. And he wants a one year deal, but you can have a four year deal. For me, he's going to get Raskin and get him out on loan. Zubar, a left mid. Let's get you in. Maybe I shouldn't have brought all of them in. Should be Shreve out for seven days. Um. Okay, so the bottom, and you want me to finish mid table, and we did that last season. So I'm happy with that. Nikolai Thompson, we have an offer from Chelsea wants in want him. Okay, Chelsea, if you want him, you can have him on loan for a season. Um, uh, scouting update, let's have a look. 84, wow, look at that overall, 25 to 33 right now, 90 max, 80, uh, 66, 79, 75, that's right, let's go through these, 83 keep for now, 84 keep for now, 90, sign him up, 66 reject, 85 keep him for the time being, 79 reject, reject, 71, 86 keep our eye, 94 keep our eye, 84, Players will be scouted further. Thank you. So Thompson has gone out on loan. We do need to look at bringing in... Oh, apparently I'm a wanted man. Um... The, the favourites to lure money to the international stage are France. I think if I was going to take any job, it would be as with the... Um, um oh, Navarro wants to play this game. Um yeah, if we were if I was going to um take any job, as with the Dundee one where I'd take the uh, Scotland job, I'd take the England job in this one and that would be the only job I'd take. But let's have a, a rotate and see what people say. Alright, Svensson, we've got Montoya, Lees, Colker, Robinson, Bentaleb, Austin, no. We want War Prowse, Ince and Bay. I want Navarro oh, Navarro's there. So we go with McManaman and saying yes, so and Kulu, Kabul, Sterling, Ince, Bentner, and Uja and Huddlestone on the bench. Uh, 
Um, I've got to give Kaminaris some game time. So, at home to Hihon. Let's see what we can get done in this game. It would be nice to get a, uh, a win on the board. Hugo Freale though put uh, Hihon 1 0 up early doors. Kaminaris has been booked. Torre has put them 2 0 up. Not too potentially worried about the result in this game. Because we do have Svensson in goal. Sterling's got us one back though. And Kulu obviously has come on for Kolka. Hugo Freale has got his second of the game. And so it's Unkulu, Sterling, and Ince have come on for Kolka, Bentaleb, and Navarro. So Navarro got a bit of game time, which I was happy about 3-1 defeat it's not the greatest but um, at the end of the day uh, what am I thinking we, 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 blood, we put a few young players out there and it's more the fact that I'd have preferred to put those players out in that game rather than the game against PSG where they could have got absolutely whooped and just wasn't needed they just confidence wasn't needed um, uh, Navarro saying thanks. Transfer offer for Nagel. Do, do, do. Yeah, you know what? I've signed some other kids, so let's get him. Let him go. Seriously, let's let him get. Let him go. Zuba and Rask have both accepted their contracts. Um, how many spots does that leave us? Forty out of forty-two. So let's see. It was Zuba and Rask, wasn't it? Zuba is a sixty-six left midfield left mid and Rask is a 63 striker, uh, centre forward sorry I am going to put them, where are they, there they are, I'm going to put them both up for loan straight away and just see what we see if we can let them go out on loan and just give them some game time Babacar's up to a 70 nicely done Right, so I'm going to move forward to the start of the season, which looks to be in just over a week's time as Cantarelli. Over for David Norris, Aberdeen. You can have him for free, mate. You can have him for free. Seriously, do not worry about that. Player sold. Uh, Cantarelli has accepted his contract, so let's have a quick scout and see where you are. Cantarelli keeper. 58. So okay, it's better than uh, Svensson in terms of backup. We have a load of players, but we are obviously are going to getting rid of a couple. Hopefully, um, yeah, just over a week until the first game. So I am going to look to just um, uh, get get up to the first game of the season. We have another scout report. 67 max reject. 86 max. 85 max. 89. 87. 94. Okay. Oh. Um. Right. So now we're going to want to sign this guy. Eighty six, eighty seven, eighty nine. Oh, yeah. Reject it. It was. I'm looking at the overalls, and some of these overalls aren't really that good. Do you see this keeper? I'm looking at this keeper, and he might have a slightly better potential, but he's only five foot seven, whereas this keeper's six foot one. So we'll sign him. Okay. And let's move forward to the first game, which is, I think that was Hull I saw there. Transfer off for Yunus Kabul, Inter. Reject and disallow, we're not going to allow any offers for Yunus Kabul. Press conference, no thanks. Right. Man United target PSG's Cavani, okay. Hopefully we get one or two more offers, here we go. Cameron Stewart. About a million to 1.9 from Everton. You know what? Yeah, let's let him go. We have... Who do we have? Um, oh, we've got uh, Mbe, Niang, Ince, and Sterling that can all play left, mid. And we've got our new guy that's just come in as well. Um, so, that's, yeah, that's not too bad. Fraser Force is going to say he wants to play in this game, which is not a problem. Uh, no, I'm not thinking of playing Svensson instead of you. Do not worry about that fella. Right, so if I move that to 30 grand a week, that leaves us 3 million to look for a left back or a right back that's at 75 minimum just to get that defence up a bit. Because it is our, as it stands, it's our left back that is the problem. But if we can find a right back for 
that's a 75 rated, then we do obviously have uh, Montoya that can go to left back. So that is something that we will uh, potentially look at. But guys, I will call it a day there. I'll be back with you in the next episode pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.